Hello guys, welcome to All in Reality and today we will be looking into Web AR. So what is Web AR? Web AR is just an augmented reality experience that you can access through a browser, a web browser without even having a mobile app in your phone. So Web AR only supports these browsers as of now but it is very wide and uh, it, it mostly like supports all the browsers and you can uh, use various frameworks to do that but today we'll be looking into ar.js which uses a frame so yeah let's get started with this this is the arjs documentation guys so i'll provide the url for this so that you can access this thing which will be having all the github links and uh, example projects and it is very much huge you can actually go through all the details from here yeah so let us open this uh, github url arjs org slash ar.js where you will be finding the examples which we have to try with so you can go to this a frame double click it so inside that you can see examples folder inside examples you will be able to find image tracking location based marker based thing but still for now we'll go to image tracking inside image tracking you'll be able to see video example as well as normal 3d model example but as of now we'll use video for our example inside that you will be finding index.html open that yeah let's keep this for a set and now let's open glitch.com which is useful for hosting our application so glitch.com i'm using this is a free one which you can use it to deploy your application same uh, application you can deploy in any server or somewhere so let's create a new application new project and you can choose a web page sample web page once it is loaded you can go and change your project name Yeah, you can find the index.html file here. So let's uh, go to github.com and uh, copy that index.html and paste it here. Yeah. Let's copy and uh, paste it here. So you will be seeing some errors. So before that, just format the file. Format the file. So you will be getting all the formatting done. This is very cool. And you're seeing issues, which is telling me to put a lowercase count so smooth count should be in the lower case so i'm just changing it so now it is done and uh, ready to deploy so let's save it yeah let me explain you a bit about ar.js this code which is having two scripts for a frame supporting and after that you have video handler which is going to handle your video on the image target and after that if you come down you can see two marker based functions which are uh, Detecting loss and found and after that you have a style tag which is a basic style for HTML and after that you have Two major tags which are a video as well as a NFT which is handling your video as well as your image marker In this video we will be changing video as well as image uh, target according to our requirement and I'll, there is a small setup is required for but before going to that, let us just set up a normal image target which we have already and test this application whether it is running or not. Here I will be using the T-Rex image link which you can also find in the description box and you can use the same thing. So once this is changed into the image target which we want, I am just changing the video now. Let's open assets folder just upload the video which you want to I'm just uploading the sample video which I have so once uh, you upload this video we can just reference that in our index.html the video is ready now just double click on the video and just copy the link from here and paste in the index.html where you have the URL 
for the video and once this is done you are ready to go just go to the share live app and just copy the url and run it on your device where you want to test just an update guys so you can uh, provide rotation uh, value also for the video according to your uh, requirement so for me it suits with minus 90 i have tested so if you have any changes feel free to change the rotation value of this particular video component i think you should be fixing my issue let's go and test the application in the device I hope the application is working for you as well and uh, now we will be changing the image target with our predefined image target image so for that we are going to go to image target documentation from ARJS documentation yeah here you'll be finding a image marker trainer which is NFT image marker trainer so once you click this you will be coming to nft marker creator you can upload your image just browsing it through so once you upload you will be right away getting a confidence score of the image which depends on the colors on your image target so it should be very much colorful so that you will get a higher confidence score otherwise it will not be working properly so just make sure you get a higher confidence score for this uh, image target so once it is done you can generate by clicking the generate button so it might take little time so after that you will be getting your output files which will be our image target files we will be using as yeah you can see now the files are downloaded you will be finding uh, fset, fset3 and iset3 kind of files which you will be having in your downloads so once you have these files you go ahead and uh, upload these files into a github repository yeah so you can see i have already uploaded that in my github repository you can see just just upload three files so that you will be able to access this uh, image targets from anywhere even from your web app also just copy the link of this uh, file and go to githack.com where we will create a direct link for this uh, file just paste this url and uh, copy the created url for the development and just paste that in our application all right guys uh, take this as a reference and just copy paste the link whatever we got from this particular https and don't give any dot fset or iset you should only give a file name so that it will pick up whatever file it wants let's run the application and again check the output copy the link and run the application I hope the application is working for you as well and if you have any issues please comment down the issues in the comment section so that I can respond to those and thank you so much for watching till the end I hope you like the video.